All right, we always get the question, how's the market? So currently what I'm experiencing is sellers are seeing a slowdown. Um, there is less offers coming in on property. So what does that mean? Buyers could definitely try and get in neighbors that they weren't able to get in a while ago. So there's definitely room to negotiate, to get some points, um, ask, ask for points, bring down your mortgage, uh, to negotiate a price you haven't been able to before when the market was hot. So there's definitely opportunity. Um, Ed, there's always a lot of questions regard, regarding mortgages. And so what is, what is your feedback on that? Well, look, I, I see it in three different pieces. Number one is if the case shiller, for example, it comes out every single year with the numbers and that's, you know, prices are up 20.6%. Let's say that continues. Let me share something with you guys. There is an opportunity cost, right? Which means everything could go up on you. The price, if you notice here, so this is in six months, a year, two years, and three years, right? If you waited that long. It could, the price can go up and the rate can continue to go up. And if that's the case, looking at these numbers here on a $1.4 million house, you'll notice right here, just look at this number right here, which says the total cost of waiting. If you wait six months, it could be that you lost $75,592. And that's a breakdown of both the loss and the appreciation, meaning equity that could have been in your pocket and also paying down your mortgage, meaning the principal amount of your loan going down. That's in six months. In a year, it could be 147,000 and so forth if you look at these numbers right here. But at the same time, as those prices go up, if you notice here, the additional cash required to buy the same house that went up on you could be, you know, in six months, they're almost 14,000. In a year, 27, and so forth if you look at these numbers here. So what's not in your pocket is in somebody else's pocket. So that's one example of things that could happen if that trend continues. If not, and we are starting to see a shift where prices are going down, then you know what? This is one of the greatest opportunities for you to be able to negotiate a really great deal. Now, let's talk about rates. The reality is, yes, rates have gone up. <laughs> they have quite a bit. If you look at the 10-year treasury, which is kind of what we, measure, what we mirror on 30-year mortgages, look at this trend, right? Everybody knows this. This isn't news at 11. Rates have gone up. If you look at, for example, April of this year, the 10-year treasury was at 2.66. Look at it now on the 17th, three and a quarter. So yes, the numbers have gone up. However, is this something you have to die with? No. Buy your house now, get your equity. And guess what? When the rates come down, because they will, then let's refinance you. Let's use some of that equity that's in your house already to pay the closing costs, to buy down the rate, maybe even lower. And let's get you refinanced into a really great rate when the rates go down. Because the reason why rates are going up, again, is because we have to tame this monster, which is called inflation. So those are the situations. Now, by the way, the third piece that I wanted to mention is right now, not only can you negotiate price, but maybe you can even negotiate with the sellers for them to kick in a credit so that you can buy down the rate. So for example, maybe the seller decides to give you 20 grand extra, right? Use that money to buy down the rate. That's something that a lot of people don't talk about and it's a really powerful tool and strategy. Yeah, that is gonna be a, a tool that a lot of agents should use right now is buying down the rate. So sellers, you are still leveraging on high prices. You know, the, the, the market hasn't gone down. Um, it, there's been some shifting, but it hasn't got, gone, gone down. So if you think about selling, there is opportunity to sell leverage on the recent prices. For buyers, there isn't as much competition and uh, there are some opportunities to get in neighborhoods you haven't thought you'd been able to get into. And I would say it's definitely worth giving a shot. So talk to your trusted mortgage and real estate professional. And if you don't have one, we are here for you. Yep, and we could do custom reports for you and work out the numbers because as you know, when numbers don't lie, emotions, especially right now, Everybody's highly emotional right now. Everybody's running scared. Don't be scared. Take action. That's important. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. And let us know if you have any questions and we're always here for you. Thank you.